What's going on everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sponge The SpongeBob SquarePants movie video game. That is such a complicated thing to say. In the last episode, we did all the freaking sandwich driving 101 challenges, which is actually really freaking incredible. I was really scared to do that. And this episode, we're gonna carry on to the desert. We actually unlocked the cutscene for this desert last episode, so we can't really show it again, unfortunately. Holy crap! Stop laughing at me! Patrick's like, what the hell? What do I do with this shit? What? That butt! Patrick's looking at that butt! <laughs> that is not- Oh, it is as an actual butt? I thought that was just like a little seed or something. Yeah, so these guys are really weird. Their acid reflex, when you get hit by it, it also makes you slide around. And yeah, I got hit by it on purpose, so what? And the way you deal with them is you just hit them in the butt twice. Hey, we got another power up. Oh, press Y. We'll launch you in the air. Yeah, I got you. Uh, we also uh, also unlocked a tr oh, two of these in last episode and show. SpongeBob art pack. Let's take a look at that. It's the Viking SpongeBob and the K-Mine SpongeBob and the Mermaid Man SpongeBob and the Patrick SpongeBob. Okay, and the Doodle Bob SpongeBob. Kind of. It's not really Doodle Bob. And the Cop SpongeBob and the Ripped Pants SpongeBob. <laughs> I call they specifically show the ripped pants. And the normal Sponge SpongeBob. Are these all costumes you can unlock in the game? Because I mean, there is a Mermaid Man costume there that we already have. Actually, I actually have no idea. Um, bad guy sound pack. <laughs> oh no. You know what? I'm gonna come back to that come back to that in two seconds. First I'm gonna turn the music all the way down. Great. More great stuff here indeed, Mr. Dude. And now we can actually listen to these. Oh no, not again. That was definitely SpongeBob's voice actor right there. Service with a smile. I'll show you service with a smile. Service with a smile? You want fries with that? Wanna pet Mr. Whiskers? Wanna pet Mr. Whiskers? You do indeed, son! Hey, Oops. This is kind of fun. Can you hear me now? Let's put sound there. There we go, that's a lot better of balance, I think. Oh yeah, we still have a pew point to spend. Oh yeah, that's what I meant to do in the first place, but I accidentally went to the menu instead. Hmm, what do we want? I don't like how they give you an upgrade automatically. Or when you get the move, you should just be able to buy both upgrades. I think that would be a lot more fun. Um... I kind of prefer the cartwheel as an attack, so we're gonna do that. Oh my good lord, he's so angry! Macho cartwheel to damage anything that comes too near. Hmm, what does that mean? I guess we'll just have to wait and see when we play as Patricio, and let's hope that I don't forget to like go. Oh yeah, we upgraded this! Because <laughs> that's definitely possible. Alright, now we also have the introduction of these boxes with balloons under them for whatever reason. I mean, who would think to do that? I don't know. This is like the floating tikis. Um, yeah, there's a lot of parallels with this and uh, the Battle for Beanie Bomb. Actually, I don't think I, I forgot. I think I forgot to mention this. This game came out, I think, under a year after Battle for Beanie Bomb came out, which is, you know, considering the game is pretty decent. It's not the best game in the world, but it's pretty decent. It actually worked out pretty well. And here's our first official reskin, not in the, uh, not not in the minus the mini game, I should say. Um, that dude was a hillbilly with a hammer. We're men. Yeah, instead of the uh, the, the guy in the goofy Uber, you know, with the peanut head. Yeah, that dude. All right, some more of this maze puzzle thing from Battle for Beanie Bob. I feel like if I saw the trailer for this game after I saw Battle for Beanie Bob, which actually I'm pretty sure I did at some point, because I remember hearing about this game, and like I saw all like the um, stuff that was similar in the game. I'm sure I would have loved that as a kid. Just just because like you know, I would I you get to see like it's like the it's like the same game except you know more, and you always want more as a kid, even if you know the game is terrible. So. No less is more all that. What is that? Oh, I thought there was something up in the air there. And you hear Plankton's voice. Is he here? Plankton, where are you? 
All right, I didn't need this, but you know, I just want to go over here to conquer my fears. Heard a music glitch there. The music looped over itself there. There's another reskin of the guys that puke at you or burp at you. I guess they're probably. I guess burping is more accurate instead of uh, puking because they're definitely not puking. Is there anything on top of this box? No, there's no. They're not playing those tricks on us yet. Whoa, that was a weird camera angle. <laughs> No. So it's not actually Plankton. Plankton's not really here. It's actually this radio towers that we did see in the last episode, but you know, it's been an episode, so. In case you forgot about it. Explosions! And for some reason, it also exploded. That's really pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> is there anything up there? There is. Alright, let's try destroying one of these. Alright, another one of these. Then we can probably make it up here. Come on, I know I can make that jump. There we go. There we go. You know, we can destroy all the things. You know what? It's like that wasn't even necessary, but I just really wanted to do it. Oh, there's a secret over here, eh? I almost missed this. Let's go figure out what's over here then. Nothing on top of these. Probably don't even need to destroy them. Oh, what's that green glowy glow? And got an extra. Let's go take a look at what it is. It's gonna be extra fabulous. And it's another film trailer, so we can't look at it. I'm sorry, guys. It's probably the actual official trailers of the game. I should probably just watch them off screen and then tell you guys what they are. Because I have watched them, but I mean, I'm not gonna watch them on screen, so I don't remember 100% what it actually is. I'm glad I didn't miss that secret. Like, I am going to collect all the treasure chests in the game, but some of them I might just have to go back for after I figure out where they are. I should probably just look where they are ahead of time, to be honest, but I just want to play this game. Oh, and here are the extra long antennas that we unlocked last episode as well. Huh, or maybe this episode, I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> One of the episodes we unlocked the extra long antennas, I guess. I guess that's what these are. You know what, let's, oh, okay, yeah, let's try turning it off just to see... Uh, what happens? Save the money first. Uh, deactivate. Yeah, that looks shorter, right? I guess. I mean, it isn't like significantly longer. Yeah, it's a lot longer. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I guess. It's weird that Plankton's giving jellyfish as things when they're already like, you know, aggressive and all that and those guys' teeth are scary. Man, hillbilly teeth are scary. <laughs> I want to hurt you guys so bad with my freaking giant gloves of doom. Stop laughing. It's, it's cool that the weights actually follow these. Is it really that funny? Holy crap. Eh. Hmm. Can I make that jump? I don't actually know. Oh my god, it's not that funny, guy. Oh, there you go. We can make it from here, probably. It's probably what that's for. Eh. Ah, <sighs> we're up to the Spongeball challenge. Does that sound familiar to you guys? The Spongeball? Well, if you watch my Battle for Beginning Bottom Let's Play, or you played it yourself, you will recognize this. Are you ready, kids? Yep, so very Mario Sunshine-esque. What's this crap? <laughs> the Spongeball challenge, which these are pretty much like... It's very reminiscent of Pinball, to be honest. Kind of, just like all the obstacles you see. I guess this is I really like this idea it's really fun but it also gets really it also gets really frustrating <laughs> these are another thing that's really easy to die in oh almost made it. it also requires a lot of waiting like this right here it could be kind of sketchy to go through sometimes oh no at least something that comes back it does all right now go there we go <laughs> And for some reason, these blades just go through the ground. Okay, they're kind of lazy with that. <laughs> they couldn't think of anything to do with that. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought these were the platforms that fall beneath you. Well, oh, what? Well, then, I'll take that. I'll take Tyson in the bathroom. I did not see that coming at all. I did not even know we were going up. But apparently, we're going up. 
I love how perfectly spherical SpongeBob looks, minus like his nose or something. Speed running tactic! And that's probably the reason why I always die in these levels. So I just try to rush through it all. Okay, great. Oh yeah, we do go up right here. Alright, just do this slowly. One block at a time. Uh, you know, I was gonna go for those fivers, but I don't need... Really? That's it? Oh no. This requires some timing! Oh my god, that blade pushed me a bit. I am shocked it on my first attempt. I'm shocked it didn't die when I fall. <laughs> and Goofy we trust, that's what the to token says. The toin, I mix up to- I was gonna combine the words coin and token. I'm so silly. <coughs> 3,000 miles to Shell City. <coughs> that's really felt the need to reread that, apparently. Alright, well then. I am honestly shocked how well I'm doing well with those missions. Which, I mean, is definitely probably telling me, is definitely probably telling me that I'm going to do terrible at them later when they actually matter and they're actually difficult. Hmm, looks like there's some over there. I don't know how to get over there, though. I'm sure we will find a way. Holy crap, that guy was just living in that rock. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to judge you, and I know homes for, like, hillbillies can be a tough thing sometimes, but still, that's a little weird. I don't even understand how he got in there, Mr. Guy. Did he just bury himself in rubble? There, that wasn't even rubble, that was like straight up giant rocks. And for some reason they just appear. They don't even come out of the water or anything, they just appear. Alright, some random vents for who knows what reason. Alright, I think we want to position this. Try about here. Hmm. There we go. I'm kind of surprised I got that. I remember having an issue trying to get the floor. Look at this! That it looks like an arrow, but what it actually is is just like the arm fist on the ground just going through it, the wall. See, there it is again, just all cut off. It's like stuff like that, it's like, come on, you, they couldn't polish that up. What I'm guessing happened was, is the release date for this game was like demanded to be really short. And look at this, the reskin of the Duplicator Tron, or the replica of it. Bouncy, bouncy task, the bouncy, bouncy, bouncy task is now open to play. Oh no, looks so difficult. Oh, I thought that was gonna be, at least be timed or something. Oh. Might as well get all these really easy weights. Yay, so much fun. Oh, I missed the top one. Great. Oh, I missed the top one. I can't. Oh, no. no. Oh. I wish I could, like, ground pound. That'd be great. I wonder, I don't I don't think that's a movie get in this game, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I did get them all there. Yay, I did it. And that was it. Let's land on it. Oh yeah, I am so pro. <laughs> and Gooby we trust, but it's actually Goofy, which is a Gooby because I'd be funnier for some reason. I don't know. The bungee challenge is now open to play. It's like really two challenges in one, isn't it? Her smash indeed, Mr. Bob of Sponge. So probably our first instance is actually using the teleport box since he got it. Wow, and there's spikes down there just to smite me when I want to break these targets. Oh, I thought that 5 out of 6 was like a um, timer for some reason for a second there. I was really confused. <laughs> but no, it's pretty obvious what they are. My OCD! Oh no, I want that weight! Alright, I guess it's not really important. Fine, take off all my health. See if I give a dog diggity. Spoilers, I don't! Uh. <laughs> Yay, we got it! Look how happy I am with my stupid happy face and Krabby Patty and there's Delper Boxing! Whee! I did it, yep! They do exactly what you would imagine them to teleport you. Yeah. <laughs> right, full health again. Oh no! Oh, I thought we were gonna land like right on top of that dude, this dude right here. Ugh! Get your extra long antenna out of here! I want it! I want it! Got a antenna box over here. Hello, Omni presents to you, Mr. Bob. What is this? Just what? Just random hammer thing, just kind of popping around. I got leg there. Here. Explosions. I don't know why Plankton would make self-destruct switches that obvious and big and stuff. I feel like there's a treasure. I feel like there was a treasure chest in the one of these, but behind it or something. 
I feel like I mentioned that because I feel like it was on the first one. But I'm thinking back to it, I don't think there was enough room for it to be there. So I'm hoping it's farther ahead instead of, you know, behind where I already was. That would be an annoying one to miss. The room spinning or is it just me? The room is indeed spinning. Another challenge, hey? Uh, go around it! Strafe! Strafe, Spongebob, strafe! Uh, Whoa! Patrick was up there! I never noticed that before! The floating block challenge. I think this is the third and last type of minigame in this game. But I'm not 100%. Oh man, this is actually really fun. I don't like timers though! Are you ready, kids? Set, go! That was a bit slow, that. No, man. See, once again, this is very Spongebob, or, um, Sunshine, like, because they have these in Spongebob Squarepants, Battle for Beginning. Or, I mean, um, not, not Spongebob, uh, let's see. There is a treasure chest up there. I knew it. I knew me eyes were lying to me. There we go. Awesome. Awesome possum. Okay, there's just a giant block up there. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. <laughs> Whatever you say, game. This first one, once again, isn't difficult at all. It's- oh no, oh no, oh no, ho oh, oh. I thought I was dead for sure! Alright. Kinda hard to know when you're going forward and when you're not going forward. Just cause it gets kinda disorientating in this game. Well, there we go. Jumping Jumboree! And the spinning blocks are, as you would imagine, pretty easy. Cause they barely affect you when they spin. Yeah, like you can just walk forward, it's all good in the hood. Alright, keep jumping around. J -j -j jump around! Oh no, and they start spinning other ways. Oh no. I don't like. No! No! Oh, I almost saved it! Well, first real death in the game, and it does have the same death animation as it did in um, first game. Alright, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, wait a minute! It just gave me- I didn't realize it gave me a checkpoint! Okay, well never mind then, we're pretty close to where we were. I thought- I thought it was gonna put me at the beginning. I didn't even know these had checkpoints. Hey. Or I guess I did know, I just probably forgot about- I forgot to, to, about it. Uh, I don't know why I'm trying that again! Holy crap! I hit the edge of the box and that helped me. Yay. <laughs> Once again, probably is going by too fast with these. Alright, holy crap, I'm getting like jump boosts from these, that's cool. Whee! And ice! I guess as long as I don't- Oh, they, this ice just disappears, okay! Oh man, I forgot about this! Whoa, bro, so trippy! <laughs> it's not really trippy. Well, let's get that, why not? Oh, and they just- Oh, they just get really small and they disappear, okay, gotcha. Yeah! And I got it! I got it! Ta-da! See, that was really fun. I like stuff like that. That's, that's pretty cool. Yay, 12 goopy goober goobers. I guess I would call it an episode there, guys. That's a good spot to end, right? Right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like and subscribe already. My name's Chris, and once this loading screen ends, we will start the next episode next time. Ah, let's kill this guy first. Dude, no, fine, fine. Fine. Okay, I do kind of need to kill you, actually, because you're kind of in the way. No! What? <laughs> First real death of the... I mean, second real death of the game. Oh, is he just gone? He's just gone. He said... <laughs> he laughed himself to death. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to hide behind the scene where you can't see me. Oh, yeah. We're probably in the Hidoku Peace right now. It's Nino Kuni. Let's play where you hide behind a plant every episode. Okay, goodbye!